Hey guys, it's Nikita Bandita. I'm back with a new uh, video. Today is going to be about my cruelty-free makeup journey and how I went from sort of just buying whatever product I saw and liked at the drugstore or Ulta or whatever and uh, really gave a shit about uh, buying cruelty-free and also uh, natural products. So hopefully uh, this will inspire you to go on the same journey that I did and um, maybe give you some ideas on where to start. So let's start with a uh, face first because that's what everyone always has a huge freak out over, right? Because it's like you have things that you like, that you know work, that you know look great on you, and you don't really wanna try something new, or maybe you do, and it doesn't quite work out. So I had the same problem. Um, I had a routine where I used a lot of um, CoverGirl products. I, you know, started when I was 16, and you know, here I am, you know, 10 years later, still using the same products and not really thinking that maybe they aren't the best, cause they aren't, they clearly test on animals, and. That's shitty, right? I mean, that's pretty fucking shitty. So, um, yeah, so I just decided to kind of branch out. I tried a few things and they didn't work very well for me, so I got really discouraged. Um, let me tell you what did work, uh, what I'm currently wearing now, I think looks pretty good. So here we go. Um, first off, Kat Von D, amazing. This is her uh, Locket Tattoo Foundation. Um, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, it works amazing. It has super full coverage. It just literally will smooth out any imperfections you have. I have a pretty big uh, zit on my chin and it did a great job of that. Um, it's amazing. I bought this probably in December and it is now May and you can see how much I have left. It's a great value. It's it's about $30, but it is an amazing value, and it works so good. I cannot say enough about this. Um, and I bought it in the shade Light 48. So if you think you're my complexion, Light 48 might work for you. Super highly recommend this. Um, so then the next thing I do, um, the hardest thing for me to replace was I had this um, CoverGirl a powder foundation that just worked really well for me. I tried um, uh, I tried other foundations. I tried um, a lot of those mineral foundations. None of them gave me that full coverage that I wanted. I have really bad rosacea. Um, it didn't work. So the one I finally ended up loving that is also cruelty free is uh, Physician's Formula. Um, this is called their Powder Palette Multicolored Pressed Powder. Um, I bought two shades. This is translucent and I also, you can see I've used it a lot. This is buff. Uh, they look really similar. Um, however, I think the buff is a little uh, too dark for me. It makes me look like I got a tan. I noticed a lot of people saying I got sun on my face and I didn't. Um, so the translucent works better for me. It doesn't have as much pigment or coverage, um, but if you put it over top of a high pigmented uh, foundation like Kat Von D, then it works just great. So translucent, buff, whatever you want. They work so good. Um, totally cruelty-free, great company. I think it's about 12 or $13. And at Ulta right now, they have a uh, buy one, get one free, buy one, get one half off sale. Um, so hopefully that's still on. You can go get it because I also got the uh, Physicians Formula uh, Organic Wear Mascara. Um, and I highly recommend this. It's 100% natural origin jumbo lash mascara. This is the color black. They have ultra black, which I've heard is a little too black, but I have it on now. I think it uh, looks pretty good. Uh, if you ask me. Uh, so this is great. Uh, don't wear it if it's pouring rain. It does run. It's not waterproof mascara, but waterproof is not good for you, right? So I uh, highly recommend this. This is a great product. Um, like I said, there's a lot of usually buy one, get one half off sales for a physician's formula. So pick this one up. Love it. Works great. <laughs> um, 
My next pick is, uh, I just got this and I'm obsessed with it. I uh, normally use an Urban Decay palette, uh, which is great, but they are very expensive. Um, and I just found this um, e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow. Um, this is the shade Soiree. I don't know if you can see that. It's really shimmery. It's like a nice kind of rose plum uh, beige. Um, and I do have it on now. I don't know if you can see. Um, but it works really well and um, I love it. I've gotten compliments on it already and it's really shimmery and it's really nice. It's a cream mascara or a, <laughs> a cream eyeshadow um, and it works really great and it's cruelty free. So highly recommended. Um, I got this one off of Amazon so I don't really remember how much it was. I want to say it was like $3. Moving on. Um, if any of you are friends with me on Facebook, you know how much I have been obsessed in talking about Milani Cosmetics. Like I said, I used to use a lot of ColorGirl products and um, I'm a big makeup store, makeup drugstore buyer because I mean, let's face it, we're all kind of broke. We don't have a lot of money to spend on, on uh, makeup and if you do, you want it to be something that you absolutely love and I was just having terrible luck buying things that I didn't like or didn't work for me. Um, and so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try and find a drugstore brand that is cruelty free, that I can go, I can just go on a whim and get it anywhere. And I found Milani and I never knew that they were cruelty free. It doesn't say it anywhere. They have a tiny, tiny section um, at your Walgreens or your any, you know, CVS or drugstore. It is there though, I promise. It's Everything's gold, so it's pretty hard to miss. Um, their stuff is packaged very cutely. Um, this is one of their lipsticks. You can see it says Milani. It's all gold, has a nice little colored tip. Um, I am wearing this. This is Matte Glam um, number 65 in purple. And I, it, their stuff is so good. It's so cute. Um, this matte lipstick is amazing. It lasts really well. It smells like Jolly Ranchers. It is the best. So highly recommended anything from Milani. Everything I've tried from them, I'm in love with. The lipstick, I'm currently wearing this blush. Um, it's just called T Rose Powder Blush Number 8. Um, you can see it used to, before I started using it, be in the shape of a really cute little rose. Um, and it is also gold. I love all their stuff. I also use their uh, Jumbo. Um, eyeliner. Um, I'm not a huge eyeliner fan. I have a terrible time doing wings, but I love it. Everything about their stuff is great. Highly recommended. Anything from Milani, just give it a try. Why not, right? I think the lipsticks are $3.95 and the blush might have been $5, but so cheap. Worth the try to go on the cruelty-free journey. Um, all right, so up next is going to be um, sort of stuff I use in the shower and or um, kind of uh, hygiene products. So my last video I talked a lot about Dr. Bronner's. I'm going to talk about Dr. Bronner's again. Dr. Bronner's is the fucking shit. All of you guys need to get it. It's amazing. This one's in rose. Um, they have a bunch of flavors, lavender, lemon, uh, uh, I think they have like patchouli maybe and they have a million flavors. They're all great. Go get one. I've had this for a while. You can see how much I've used. It's not that much. It's just diluted soap. You can wash your laundry with it. You can wash your hair with it. You can wash your dog with it. You can wash anything with this. It's amazing and it smells so good. You have to buy this and it is 100% cruelty free, amazing, must have. Um, so enough about Dr. Browner's. Um, next is um, shampoo and uh, conditioner. Um, since I do have dyed hair, as you can see, um, different from my last video, um, I like to use a shampoo that's sulfate free and a lot of you might who've never used sulfate-free shampoo, 
it's a little it's a little weird because it doesn't foam um, and if you can get past that then this is a really great shampoo it's by Alba Botanical it's called Hawaiian shampoo bodybuilder mango um, no parabens no philanthates no animal testing 100% vegetarian ingredients so big thumbs up to that the stuff is great it makes your hair smell really good it does wash it I will say while you're washing it it doesn't feel like it's getting it clean but as soon as you put it under the water and let all the soap go out it feels clean so don't worry you're not alone um, that's just that's just how it works um, if it doesn't have sulfates but I, I do love this stuff I switched recently from Lush's um, shampoo bars to this because it had sulfate in it it was just making the color in my hair come out and you know us girls with color hair gotta gotta do stuff to keep it in there um, so the conditioner I do still use the lush conditioner uh, happy happy joy joy is amazing lush is a great company they're you know cruelty free they fight animal testing they're amazing everything is mostly for the most part natural I think except for the colorings and glitter um, this is amazing it's the best smelling conditioner I've ever used it lives up to his name it does make you feel like happy happy joy joy it just smells of roses and it's amazing even more amazing than the dr. browner smell um, and so while we're on it in case some of you ask about what my hair color is it is sparks um, I used to use Manic Panic. Everyone knows it doesn't work very well. Sparks is so much better. Um, Sparks hair color. Also vegan and cruelty free. So pick some of this up. I bought it on Amazon. I don't think they sell it at Sally's, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, it's amazing. I've already washed my hair um, once and you can see how much the color has stayed. Um, it's, it's just so good. So buy that. Um, and then, uh, keeping on the Lush train, um, I have the, the holy, uh, not trinity, what do you call it, du duo <laughs> of, I don't know, of, uh, Lush stuff, um, which they always recommend is Dream Cream and Dream Wash. It is, it is recommended together for a reason. It is awesome if you have acne, if you have uh, rosacea, if you have bad skin, this is the total amazing bomb, deity, whatever. Uh, you need this. Um, I think uh, Kira Rose recommended this and um, my boyfriend saw me wanting it and, and bought it for me. It is a little expensive. I think the two combined is around $50. Um, but it is great. The uh, Dream Wash you use in the shower, it's a shower smoothie uh, with chamomile and aloe vera. Um, I can't really explain to you what it does, but after you wash it off, you just feel amazing. And um, Dream Cream is just a lotion that you use in tandem with it. And it, it works so good. It doesn't even really smell that great. It just really lotions and does its job. So whatever. Um, all right, the last but not least, um, I uh, stopped using dry shampoo in my hair. Shit was messing with it and it has tons of uh, alcohol in it. So I was like, you know what, what, am I, what can I do? It's like a DIY, all natural dry shampoo. And I did a lot of research online and I found um, air root powder. I didn't know what air root powder was. I just bought a big bag of it off of Amazon for about eight bucks organic air root powder. And it came and I put it in this jar and it's just, you can see it's just white powder. Um, you add a couple drops of whatever uh, scented, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, essential oils you add whatever essential oils you want to this and a few drops and smells great so it gives you know the, to mask any smell you might have and you just take um, a big like kabuki brush put it in there da, 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 rub it in with your hands and your hair looks awesome I have not washed my hair in five days and it looks pretty good so Air root powder is your friend. Um, and I recently discovered this, 
can call me a hippie, whatever you want. Like I said, I'm going on a cruelty-free, natural journey and trying to bring you guys along with me. Um, I bought this Schmitz Lavender and Sage All Natural Deodorant. This stuff is the most amazing. I was really, really, really hesitant to buy an all-natural deodorant because I am really sweaty for a girl. And this stuff is amazing. Um, it's mostly made out of uh, shea butter and um, coconut uh, oil, I think. But it's amazing. It works so good. It's a little weird. It is like, it is the consistency of a uh, hard coconut oil. But you just take this little spatula, you get a little bit out, put it in between your fingers, and then rub it in your pits. And it, it does work. I mean, it doesn't make you smell like a rose, but it doesn't make you smell bad. And nobody's mentioned, I mean, I've asked my boyfriend many times, like, hey, uh, do, I, do I smell bad? Will you smell me? And, and you don't smell bad. You don't smell good. You just smell like a human, which we fucking are, guys. So if you want to give... Uh, the aluminum the bust and try this I highly recommend it it was I think um, nine dollars on Amazon maybe uh, I've heard it's also at Whole Foods so you know we're the hippie shop and uh, that's it so hopefully you liked this hopefully it will inspire you to go on your own cruelty free all natural journey um, if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments below uh, message me or on uh, Instagram or Facebook or uh, you know however you want to get a hold of me you can uh, tweet me as well I'd be happy to answer them for you if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe thanks guys see you next time peace